Okay, so we're going to start by going to Amazon to create our own uh, Linux server. What we're going to make is a general purpose Linux server that will do PHP, MySQL and so forth. So I've just logged into um, AWS and I want EC2, that's the Elastic Cloud. And what I want to do is to find a server and launch it. At the moment I'm running none at all. What I want to do is to launch an instance. So Amazon offer um, a whole bunch. The quick start, um, ooh, the ones at the top, these ones here, they require um, a VPN, I think. But down here near the bottom, there's a general purpose Amazon Linux. So it's, uh, we don't want Microsoft. Um, we could have Ubuntu. I'm a bit more familiar with this kind of generic Linux, so I'm going to pick that server there. Um, I have to go through a few stages to set it up. I'm going to have a micro instance, uh, which means it's not a very powerful server, but it's free. Um, and I'm going to configure that instance. So I only want one. Um, I want to launch into EC2 Classic, so I don't want to use a VPN. I don't need storage. Forget that. I don't want to tag it. Um, I want to re uh, security group. I definitely need that. So the security group I want. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to SSH. That's how I access it, uh, access the server to control it. Uh, but I also want to allow HTTP so that we can see web traffic. So I'm looking for HTTP. That's HTTPS, HTTP. That's the one there. So Apache runs on port 80, which is HTTP. So um, the next thing I have to do after this is get myself a, a security pen. I've got a couple set up, but let's start with the new one. So I'm going to create a new key pair, um, and I'm going to call this um, vlog. Okay, so if I download that, now this file here, this pen file, I'm going to need that in the next stage. Um, but for the moment, we'll just leave it there in downloads, and I will ac access it later. And let's go ahead and launch that instance. And it tells me it's starting. Let's view my instances, and we can see. I just scroll that down there. Okay, there are some servers that I've stopped. This is the one that's just starting. Um, the other two you can see there. So this is my server that's initializing. Uh, those other two were instances that I had running earlier. And what's important is this public DNS. So if I select that there, there's the public DNS. I'm going to need this address. Let me just make that a little bit smaller. So this address here is quite a long address, but that's where my server lives. I need that. And if I go, I should be able to visit. No, I tried to copy that. Let me copy this address. That's the public DNS. If I copy that, and I should be able to paste it into here. And it won't work just yet, because we need to set a few things up. But you can see the connection is refused. That means the server is running. But Apache is not running, um, and we're going to set that up in the next session.